I just filmed this entire video without the microphone plugged in. So I'm doing it again. Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to the launch of Nurture System. This has been a long awaited video. I know I've teased at a couple of products. I've sort of talked about them, sort of not. I know y'all, a lot of you anyway, have tried this one before. But today I'm going to tell you about the entire range that I have before you with only one number missing, but we'll get into that. Before we start, I wanna say a huge thank you to everyone that bought number one right here. This is Power Girl. We will talk about it in just a second because the feedback I've had on this, guys, is phenomenal. And I would actually go that far. I'm not someone that exacerbates things, but honestly, I would go that far. Also, this actually is... <laughs> it's got no product in it. Why, you ask? I forgot to grab it from the unit. So essentially this, funny enough, is the test packaging that I had printed before I signed off on a print run of literally thousands of packets of feed. This was the tester that was sent to us and I used it here for some product shots because the product hadn't got here yet at the time. And I guess I never brought a proper one home because when I use this product, I'm using it in a really big ugly container. I'm not using it in these because I just use it straight from the supplier in a vat or whatever. So so that is why that seems a bit light on the ground. It's just got air in it. I'm going to talk you through all the products we have. I'm going to very briefly mention number one, very, very briefly just cover it, just so that we have a whole rundown because I can't tell you about some of these without reiterating some of the stuff about number one. So let's get into it. Oh, I have a special EU update at the very end of this video. So if you're in the EU, you really want to buy the feed, you might want to have your thumbs ready and wait till the end of the video. So anyway, number one. I'm gonna recap everything, starting with this. This is number one, Power Grow. It is an adaptive nutrient concentrate. Fancy word for an adaptive fertilizer. Basically, you can use this with soil, pond, leca, whatever your poison is, it will adapt to it. There's just slightly different dilution rates. Very, very cool. I've had such good feedback on this, awesome. Basically, this is formulated for aroids, essentially. However, since it's launched, cause it's been out, mm, little under a year now and I get reports of people using it on things like Calathea, um, Hoya, stuff like that and they tell me that it's all growing really well. So although I haven't designed it for that, a lot of people are just sort of throwing it on all of their houseplants and it's actually doing really really well. Love that. So why is this special? It's not just a fertilizer. So I made it with increased levels of calcium and magnesium, which if you don't know, we will get onto it a little later, but it helps to make your plants, especially the dark velvety types, the anthuriums, really dark and glossy and healthy. They don't look bleached out and washed out. It also has a special blend of B vitamins as well as fulvic acid. What does that do? It basically helps with transplant shock. For example, repotting. If you've shipped the plant in and it's half dead or anything like that, really, this is really, really good. And it's funny because I repotted my Thai constellation that is in the background. Can you see it? Maybe not. Right there. I repotted my Thai constellation literally on camera a couple of weeks ago. And even though I repotted it, it is pushing out a new leaf like nothing happened, guys. What this is very good at doing is it doesn't give you like a pause when you replot a plant or something like that. If it's an established plant, it just sort of keeps going like nothing happened. It's almost like you didn't touch it. How many times have you wanted to repot a plant, but you've gone, oh, it's kind of grown really well though, or there's a leaf on its way out or something like that. And you're like, oh, I'll, I'll wait. And you know that when you repot Potter, it's probably going to slow down. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not exaggerating. Mm -mm. It is very, 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 very good for that. So that's a little bit about number one. Loving that. Number two. Should we talk about number two? This here is Nurture System number two power boost. Essentially, does what it says on the tin. This is a booster for any fertilizer you have, whether it be mine or whether it be somebody else's. Because you mind you don't have to use mine, it could be whatever you prefer. What is going on with these lights? What is going on with these lights? Is anyone seeing this? This increases a general growth response as well as a flowering response, which you might want it, you might not. Anthuriums, Hoya, stuff like that, great for it. But it will generally boost all around your plant, kind of supercharge it a bit. I do like this because you don't have to have my fertilizer, as I said before, you can just add this to your own. So if you want to try something from the range and you're like, hey, I don't really care about your feed. I like what I have, but I'd like to try something. I want a bit of a boost. I want to see if it, if, you know, if it can add to mine. Really good product to have. Love that. Love a bit of power boost. Again, available on Nurture System website. 
site available on Amazon. As of recording this, it's out of stock, but no doubt we will have restocked it by the time this comes out because I'm recording this a week in advance. Number three, number three, number three, number three. This is Nurture System number three, Rapid Recovery. And let me tell you guys, I wish so bad that I had this product for the entirety of my plant career. And I don't say that lightly. I can only wish that I had this the whole time. My shop would have sold more. I wouldn't have lost plants. It would have been an all round great time. Even as a hobbyist, I wish I had this shit. This is absolutely brilliant. What does it do? So if I can sort of sum it up in two words, it's kind of like a rehab tonic, but it's specifically targeted towards the root system, okay? So if you have a plant that you've recently had some root rot on it and you've had to cut it all back and you're a bit like, oh shit, what do I do? This stuff will encourage root growth real fast. If you've taken a cutting and you're like, mm, that could do with a bit, a bit of a boost or you need to sell something really quick. Maybe you've got something really rare that you're trying to get the jump on, something like that. Maybe just taking cuttings and you generally want them to just go a bit quicker. This stuff on the roots will grow it. I tested this on a few things, but notably, if anyone is familiar with Monstera Burley Marks Flame, that's pretty slow. That's pretty slow. And I tell you something, I think I mentioned this on a video as well a few weeks ago. The root was growing along the bottom of the tray and it hadn't been cut that long. This stuff is absolute insanity. If you've had a plant that you shipped in from overseas and it's just gone and it's not having a good time, this is what you want. You can use it a little bit more of a concentrate if you want. You can just sort of soak it in this solution for a bit or you can literally just feed your plants with it and keep it in. Really, really good. Again, this can be used in conjunction with anything. It can be used in conjunction with my feed. Very, very nice. Or you can use it on its own or you can use it with your own feed. This is very, very versatile and honestly, I know I'm selling it, but I honestly think it's something that everyone should actually have at home in case they run into a bit of a problem with root rot or something like that. This is epic. I absolutely love it. I adore it. Honestly, it's one of my favorite products in this line because I'm just, I just think it's so cool. And I, I really wish I had it years ago. What I wouldn't have done without that. What I wouldn't have done without that, honestly. Right. Number four, CalMag. So I'm not going to spend a long time on this, guys. Why? Because it is simply CalMag, aka calcium and magnesium, which if you remember, number one has in it. Oh, I should mention about number three really, really quickly. Number one has elements of this in it, in the way that it is good for transplant shock. This is just kind of that on steroids, if that makes sense. This is a very, very concentrated, potent, straight to the point version of it. Whereas number one is more of like an all rounder. So if you were very minimal in your plant care, you can buy number one and probably be done. But if you want to get more specific, dial things up, boost things more, have something for a specific purpose, then that's your boy. Sorry, I've detracted back to number three. Never mind. Number four, very boring. It's calcium and magnesium. That's it. That's it. And you don't necessarily need it. Again, number one has it. A lot of people might. And again, it is really good if you have, say for an example, an anthurium is just looking a bit bleached up and you think it's not really under too much light. It's getting fed. I use my regular fertilizer on it and it's just, why does it look the way it does? It doesn't seem to have any pests. What's going on? The answer is probably a lack of of CalMag. So you can buy this on its own if you like, or most people tend to use my fertilizer and I don't personally hear about anybody feeling like they need to supplement further. But if you wanted to supplement further, say you've got something super problematic that just needs a bit extra and you want to give it that, or again, if you want to try and you don't have any of my fertilizer, this is a nice one to have, but it is CalMag. So I'm not going to waste your time on it. All right, number five. Number five, this is Nurture System number five, Nurture Spore, and it is mycorrhizal fungus. And you think, ew, what? This is actually not a liquid product. I said these are all liquids, I lied. This is a powder, okay? You probably can't hear that. That is a powder. It is basically something you can either dip cuttings into or you can dust onto the root system of your plant. It acts as a couple of things. One thing it does is it inoculates your plant against diseases. Oh, I know. Plants treated with this are less susceptible to disease. You can Google it, by the way. This isn't something I've like come up with. This is a thing. This is a thing. It's very competitively priced compared to other brands as well, by the way. Do check it out. But this helps prevent disease in your plant. What else does it do? So it essentially creates what's known as a symbiotic relationship between your plant and the fungi, which basically means they benefit each other and they work together. So the plant benefits from the fungus, the fungus benefits from the plant. One of the main things this does is it allows your plant, how do I put it? It kind of gives your plant a bigger engine, right? Even though you haven't necessarily added mass to the root system, okay? It provides optimal nutrient uptake. 
is what it does. It takes in all the nutrients from the surrounds and it transports it into your plant a lot better. So you'll get more bang from your buck when you use this, when you use other products with it. And this goes the same for any product that you use. It doesn't have to be my feed. It can be anything. A lot of people are using this now. I don't want to say it's trendy because that would imply it's just a trend and it would pass. But a lot, a lot of people are actually using myco as it's known or mycorrhizal fungus. A lot of people are using this. So if you haven't heard of this before, I actually urge you to Google it and do a little bit of reading because you might find it's something that you want to use or introduce. It's very price friendly. So if you want to introduce something in your routine that is not a liquid, then this one might be for you. Very, very good things. Very, very good things. Oh my God. I hope I'm not going all glossy because I feel, I feel a bit sweaty under these lights, guys. I'm not going to lie. Right. It's also like 26 degrees. Yep. It's 26 degrees in this room. Woo! Right then. Right then. Right then. The next thing I have to show you. Can you see all this? Can you see it? Can you see it? The next thing I have to show you is this. I will not hold it up for long because it will be noisy and it is heavy. This is Nurture System number seven, Deca. Why Deca? Because it is almost decorative Leca and it comes in a range of colors. I will tell you now, it is not the same as Leca, okay? This stuff here, I'll grab this one for, you know, demonstration purposes. It's not lecker. It's not just lecker that's been painted or anything like that. It's actually a completely different clay. The balls are round. they are not got, you know, little pits in them or anything like that. It's, it's really quite beautiful. I probably got a product photo I can put on the screen as a bit more of a close-up. It is fertilizer free. It is reusable. It is all of the things that you'd expect from lecker, but it is a little bit more dense and it can trap in a little bit more water, which not everyone is going to want. Okay. It really depends. This has a couple of different uses. Right. I'll give you some examples. First thing you can do is use it as a full on substrate, right? Which obviously because it's colored, there's only certain times where you're going to care. So example for in this kitchen now, if I have a cutting of something that I've cut off a plant, maybe, oh, it could be anything. It could be a, a monster leaf I'm rooting because I want to grow it. It could be, I don't know, my owl ball grew two white leaves, but I don't want to throw them away. I'll just stick them in something decorative or something like that. If you want to display really nice colored substrate, this is for you. If you don't want to do that and you think mm, it's a bit much, then you can actually use it as a top dressing, which does a few things. If you use it over soil, for example, or pond, it makes it look a lot more attractive and it is heavier than lecker. So it does tend to stay put. It's not something that if you put water over, it's just going to rise and, you know, float around or anything. It won't do that. It is a lot more dense, guys. Trust me, it weighs more than lecker substantially. It is not the same thing. I promise it's not. A cool thing that I would probably use this for, and I haven't yet because I'm a little bit late to the party and I'm just filming this is, and I think it's a good use for it. If you want to take pictures for Instagram, okay? And you think, ooh, that would look really good. You can put some top dressing over your plant. So you've got something unknown, a self-watering pot in pawn or whatever it is. You can put some over the top of the plant, take your photographs, either leave it there, or you can even just take it back out and put it in the bag. It doesn't really matter. I would certainly do that to take plant photos for my Instagram, which I will be doing coming up, or even to sell plants if I want them to look super decorative on like the website or something. It's really, really nice. So should we talk about the fun bit, which is the colors? because I have some beautiful colors. Okay, so I'll pick this back up. This is sage green and it is beautiful. I would try and hold it up, but it's probably gonna blow out in the lights. My apologies. It's got real dark in here now, not a vibe, but this is sage green, very, very beautiful. I plan on putting a mint monstera in this one. So if you need inspiration, there you go. The next one, because it sort of leads on from it, is the pink. And my plan, and you will see it at some point, is for me to put my homolamina rubescens variegated, the pinky heart-shaped homolamina that's on my Instagram. I'm going to plant this in it and it's going to look absolutely incredible and I can't wait. So this is the pink, very, very nice. I should mention this is dry, so it will change color when it's wet. It's, it's funny, right? I shouldn't do this. I really shouldn't do this, but I actually have. Just suspend your vision for a moment. I have a vape here, right? But the thing I like about this vape, guys, is it actually pretty much represents the dry and wet version of this stuff. So when it's dry, it looks like this side of the vape. And when it's wet, it looks like this side of the vape. So for example, this is the blue, which is, oh my God, on camera, that looks so good. This is very, very pretty. It goes even more of like a cobalt when it's wet. Obviously you can avoid that by, if you, you know, if you prefer the look of it dry, you can water in one spot. You don't have to water all the way through. It, that depends on if you're using it as a substrate, obviously, or top dressing, really depends what you're doing. But there are a couple of ways to keep it that way. Not very difficult. Um, 
what else have we got? Oh, the multi, the multi. Now, I like this because it doesn't have any nasty orange in it. It doesn't have white in it. It is literally a blend of these colors. It's a very pretty multicolor. I really like it. It's quite aesthetic. Again, I'll show you it up here, but I do have product shots because I took them this afternoon when there was actually light in this house. And that's what she looks like. She is absolutely gorgeous. And if you think, oh my God, why have you done this? I hate color. Can we please just keep it simple? I don't care anymore. Have you seen this light? Have you seen this light? What am I going to do with this? Hang on. It's so rude. It's probably going to do that again. If you really think, where was I? If you really think, hey, I hate color. Why have you done this? I don't like any of this. This is not a vibe. Obviously, in true Kayleon style, I brought out a black. Who doesn't love black? So again, you can use this as simply a top dressing. I might use this I haven't decided, I might use this. Can you see him? Really big, large form in the corner. Might use him in there. I don't know why, I just want him to be a bit of a, a dark mass. So I might use it in that. It's quite good as well if you've got pets that tend to dig into your substrates on maybe larger plants. I find that's really, really good because again, it's more dense, it's heavier. It's not really something that they want to dig into. If you get it, you will see what I mean. It's, uh, oh, one other thing. It is slightly smaller than Lekka. It's not super small. I don't know if you can tell, and I'm, I apologize, I don't have Lekka with me. This light, this light. Guys, we're rolling with it. I can't stop this light from doing this. We're just, we're discoing it. I'm so sorry. So anyway, I'm sorry I don't have Lekka with me, but it is a little bit smaller. Smaller, but it is very, very uniform. I know a lot of Lekka cannot be. You can just see there, because that might display it there. It's very, very uniform. Guys, this fucking light. Why? Why? Anyway, I think that's all I had to say on number seven. That is the thing we've been waiting for, by the way. This is why this video is out late. This is why, this is why it's number seven. It took a nightmare. So the last thing I want to mention, and I do have things to say about this. So this is Nurture System number eight, Nurture Pon, as demonstrated there. Does it find my face again? Yes, it does. Thank God, I've just had to do that twice, guys. So, Pon, why? Why, why, why? So, I will explain the best I can. I do have, right, before I continue, I do actually have ramekins of the leading competitor brand of Pon and my Pon, but I've tried, the first time I filmed this, to tip it up to the camera and it just, it, it, I can't, I literally can't. But I do have a photograph for you to show you the difference. So, I will put that over what I'm saying when it's relevant. So basically, why did I make Pon? What was the point? What's the point? We have Pon, we've had Pon for years. I've had some issues or some gripes, shall we say, this light with, maybe it's Decca themed. I've had some issues with Pon, the leading brand of Pon, okay, for a few years. And I have mentioned it on videos. I've not been shy about it. This is quite a very transparent thing. I've had issues with a couple of things. One, I find that the leading brand of Pon tends to sometimes keep the roots of at least aroids I'm talking about a little bit too wet and obviously it depends on how you water the, the the soil the substrate but I find it keeps them a little bit too wet even in a household environment I'm not a fan necessarily sometimes it's good sometimes it isn't it's very hit and miss the second thing is and this is a reason why I've changed my formula is that aroids usually need a chunkier mix, right? If I can cast your mind, guys, back to 2018, 2019, 2020, maybe even 2021, a little bit before a lot of people moved over to Pon or Semi-Hydro, like Lekka, whatever. If I can cast your mind back, you might remember that we, or most of us, were using a chunky Aroid mix. I know I had a video on my channel about it, and all of a sudden, everyone was doing it, everyone was selling it. We all loved it. We loved it, okay? The reason why we moved, for example, from a normal Aroid, well, it wasn't a normal arrow mix, was it? Most of the time, it was a little bit of perlite with some coir or something. The reason why a lot of us moved from that to a chunky arrow mix with like coarse coir, orchid bark, maybe a bit of perlite, maybe pumice, whatever you can get your hands on, something really chunky is for a couple of reasons. One is to aerate the roots because roots need oxygen. So that provides more gaps, if you will, between all of the little... I know, bits, rocks, just components in order to get oxygen to the root, thus creating a better root system and healthier plant. The second reason, guys, is essentially, the best way I can explain it, is plants grown in a chunkier mix tend to grow stronger roots, but they're actually visibly thicker. So what I find with the leading brand of Pond is that a lot of the time the roots grow very thin and more hair-like, even on plants where you would expect thicker roots. I know my Monstera do it a lot. So I wanted to create something that goes back to the concept of an aroid mix because it is mainly for aroids. Obviously you can use it on whatever you want, that's up to you. But I've made it mainly for aroids. I wanted it to be chunkier because I wanted more air to the roots to keep it from being too wet and too 
you know, ew, I suppose. It's not a very good word, is it? And also to encourage the roots to get a bit bigger, fatter, juicier. That is why I've created that mix. So it is coarser. Again, you'll have seen a photograph by now. It's the same ingredients. I should mention this. It's the same ingredients as the leading brand of Pond. Obviously, there's no fertilizer in it, but it is a slightly different ratio. So I've doctored that too to something that I personally find a little bit better. So it's not the same as Pond. It's, it is a Pond. It's my answer to Pond would be the best way I could put that. I think that's quite an accurate way of putting it, actually. So again, all the information is available on Nurture System. All these products are available on nurturesystem.co.uk. I'll put a QR there. Um, the links are in the description as well, by the way. They are also available on Amazon. I think as of recording this, number two is sold out, but no doubt we will have restocked it for you. And two bits of news, two bits of news. Are you ready? So the first thing is as of this weekend that I'm recording this, I, sorry, I'm so distracted by that disco light. I'm so sorry, guys. The first thing while I'm recording this is that I will be at Southport Flower Show, literally the weekend that this video is coming out. So if you're in the UK and you're either going to the show anyway, or you fancy going, please feel free to come. I will be here as Nurge System and I will be selling all of this lovely stuff. You will see all of this in person. I actually bought these for the trade stand, but then I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. Love that. I'll be here with Nurge System. You can say hello. You can check out the products. You can have chat, whatever you want to do. I am there. I will be very, very glad to see you. Feel free to pop along. I will leave the link to that down below. It is, it's way south of Manchester, I think, if you wondering kind of where it is in the UK. Have a little Google. Uh, that's that, I think. You've probably seen a very quick dedicated video on my channel about that anyway. So if you're wondering, I am talking about the same thing. I am at a couple of shows this month, the month of August in the UK. Some of them are trade only and some of them are more public, but I will let you know as and when they come up. So if you follow me on Instagram, that's a really good place to find that out. And I think that just leaves the last update, which is an EU update. If you are in the EU, and you have always wanted, you have longed, you have waited, you have begged, you have cried, and you really want this. That's dramatic, sorry. And you really wanted this. There is now the availability in the EU. So essentially, we have, I don't wanna say partnered up, we have worked or we are working with a couple of suppliers. One of them is in Poland, and I don't think they're quite as far along. I think they have the product, but they're not quite ready to put it out yet, so that's fine. That will probably start circulating in the EU when they are ready. When they are ready, I will tell you. But we have one supplier, guys, that is actually ready. They're actually ready, like right now. The link is on the screen. It's also in the description. If you're on your phone, you just wanna go and click it, whatever. You can buy Nurture System number one from there. They are in Denmark. Their website is linked. I think they told me that they were, they were working on some, Teddy, they were working on some translation for their website. Personally, I went on their website and I used Google Translate and it worked okay for me. So their website is there. Whether they stock the other products in the range or not, guys, is up to them. It's up to demand, it's up to everything else. I guess it's up to how well these do, but there is nothing stopping that happening, if that makes sense. That is genuinely down to the individual retailer as to what they want from me. But at the moment, this little guy, you can buy it right now. So I don't know how much they have. Well, I have an approximate number of how much they have. I probably suggest you go and get it now. As soon as they sell out, uh, we will have to get cracking and give them more. That is my big update on the EU. As I say, they're in Denmark, but they will ship. They will ship. There might be a cost, but they will ship. So, Teddy, shall I let him in? Shall I let him in? Because we're finished now, aren't we? Give me a minute. Come here. Come here then. Come here. Come on. Come here. You want to say hello to everybody? This is Teddy. My Teddy. He doesn't, he hates being picked up. It's the breed. Look. Oh, you don't like it. There you go. What's all the noise for? What's all the noise for? <laughs> Bless him. So that is my launch video. That is my cat. That is what I like to call the stupid one. Bless you. You saying no, I like, know. Um, yeah, if you want to see me at the show, I shall be there. If not, no worries. Links to everything here. You're gonna jump? Good boy. Links to everything is in the description and everything you need. QR code has probably been on the screen for a portion of this video. Any questions you have, please leave them in the comment section, but bear in mind I am at a show, so I'm probably not gonna respond to them straight away. And I guess that's it for this video, guys. Sorry for the disco. I, I don't know, these are my dad's like. My dad used to be a DJ. Dad, if you're watching this, can you tell me what the hell is going on? Because maybe, maybe I've done something stupid. I don't know. But I mean, I had a party a few weeks ago and this didn't happen. So awkward disco. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.